This is probably the first time in history these four great men have been in the same place at the same time. It kind of makes you... What is this? <laughs> Sweater swap. She noticed. You were right. Oh my god, somebody's here. Okay, guys, just act normal, please. Just be like normal people. Hello, hi, David Moser. I'm Leslie Nope. It is such an honor to meet you. Right. How long is this gonna take? Oh, not very long. I, I realize, of course, you're a very busy man. I love parks. I don't know if that's something I've communicated before. So, having a picnic with all the former living parks department directors? Guess who just checked something off her bucket list? Clarence Carrington, David Moser, Michael Tansley, Ron Swanson, gathered together on a beautiful day in this beautiful park. I think we should just take a moment and appreciate how lucky we are. I thought you were dead, Clarence. No, I'm gonna outlive you, then I'm gonna nail your wife. Screw you, you old coot. Classic David, you're worse than Ron. Shut your damn mouth, Tansley. Okay, great, let's go. When I say parks, you say department, parks! Parks! Apartment! Oh boy, this is taking a lot longer than I thought it would. Can you guys run up ahead and set up the picnic? Sure. Oh, where are they going with the food? I'm starving, I only had one breakfast. Okay, relax. Look, what was going on back there? Why all the sniping? Not exactly sure. The only one I know is Michael, and we're not exactly best friends. Mm. I'm hungry. Okay, well, don't be such a baby. I cooked you some bacon for a trail snack. I ate it already. What? I could smell it in your purse before I even parked my car. And now it's gone, and I hate everything. Okay, Clarence, um, why don't you describe the first summer Pawnee catalog? First year, we offered four classes. I actually taught homemaking. Women were not allowed to teach back then. Really? I thought there were female teachers way before then. Not in my department. Well, times have changed. I mean, I'm deputy director now, but I'm hoping someday to be the first female director of the department. Oh, I don't think that's a good idea. Women uh, need a, a lot of blood to, to flow through to, to their baby centers. Uh, which leaves less to the brain, you see. Yeah, mm-hmm, sure. I stay away from leadership roles uh, for your own safety. David, what was it exactly that called you to the Parks Department? Well, I was in public works for eight years, but the director was pretty young. Clarence was old and weak. So I put in for a transfer, swooped in, and pushed him out. Uh, is it, there was no other reason you wanted the job? No, nope, just the money and the pension. Actual job's a nightmare. I mean, who gives a crap about this crap? <laughs> well, David, I think we've talked enough. Okay, guys, we're almost there, oh. right up here. You really shouldn't be leaving this. If you're menstruating, you'll attract bears. Holy God, okay. Here we are. Eat. Well, it hasn't gone exactly as I've hoped, but um, I got them all here, and we're gonna have a beautiful picnic. It's gonna, it's gonna be good. Hey, I just whizzed on a butterfly. Well, gentlemen, as you know, I'm working on my welcome letter for the summer catalog. You should just copy the Eagleton one. I used to just copy the Eagleton one. Did you? I was hoping that maybe you could talk to me a little bit about how the department has changed since you ran it. Well, I think you've done a wonderful job maintaining the parks. Thank you, Michael. I appreciate that. Did you enjoy your turn at the helm? Well, in a way. Um, pencil pushing wasn't really my thing, but I did love the parks themselves. That was the best part of the job. Oh, isn't it? I totally agree. Well, thank goodness for you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank goodness for Michael. Are you still on parole, by the way? Oh, ha ha. Very funny, Ron. Yeah, yeah, yes, Ron, I am. What? He smoked pot in the office and in all the parks constantly. In fairness to me, it was a different time. It was the early 90s, but also it's ridiculous that marijuana is illegal. Thomas Jefferson grew hemp. Alcohol is legal, but pot isn't. <sighs> that makes sense to you, Ron? I'm sorry, I can't hear hippies. <laughs> mm -hmm.